previously on 3D Animation Hub. This is a suit by Rokoko, and it's about one-tenth of the price of their competitors. And I gotta be honest, it's some quality stuff. I put it on, and I was tempted to leap off the balcony and shoot webs out of my wrist, but I didn't, because I, I would probably splat down making a Persian pancake on the floor. And well, in this video, we're gonna try the suit, we're gonna record some motion capture, pop it over to Blender, mess around with the Rokoko Blender plugin, so we'll learn about that, apply the motion capture to a character, and voila! Hey guys, welcome to the 3 Animation Hub. My name is Brian, and if all of that sounds like a good time, smash that like button and let's hop in. All right, let's open up Rococo Studio. And here I already have a profile, but if you don't, just click the new profile. And what'll happen is you have to type in your height. You can get into more detail here if you'd like, but um, anyways, my height's exposed now. You guys see the massive stature that is Brian and uh, nope, not a female, male, thank you. Um, <clears throat> so that's saved. Once you've set up your profile, uh, what you want to do is you want to connect your suit. So I just connected my suit via USB, via the back of the suit, and there it is, connecting suit. It has been connected. Clear here, click here to set up. And so again, if you haven't set it up already, you can click the settings, and this is where you type in your internet information. For your IP, you can just you know, Google how you can find your IP, put in the right IP here and uh, put in your internet uh, name and password. Usually when you press the down arrow, it'll search for local internets. And once that's done, you press uh, apply settings and now your suit will be connected to the internet. All right, now that I got my profile, let's create a new project. I name this YouTube Rococo 3. So as you guys can see, that's that's me over there. But uh, what we're going to do is this is our Rococo suit and this is our profile. So we're just going to match this into our profile. And now we're purple. Cool. So if I step back here, it's going to be pretty funky. This is me standing normally, but then on the screen, it's a little funky. What we're going to do is click the calibrate button in the, here in the middle left. Okay, I got poor performance because I got everything around me, but we're going to click calibrate, then we're going to move all the way back. All right. Ah, look at that. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> How cool is that? Okay. Let me record. All right, ready? Nice. We'll go with that one. All right, so press the green button. It's done recording. Okay, so what we had was uh, take eight. And if you guys pay attention down here, um, these are the right and left foot stepping down and being on the ground. So what we can do is we can turn on the gizmo here and you can see them. So right now the uh, character's left foot is contacting the floor. I feel like the right foot should be too. So we're gonna drag this here. And so now the right foot is contacting as well. And we're gonna do a little bit of cleanup here. Sure, okay, yeah, let's just go with that. Now what we wanna do is right click on take. We're going to click export, FBX. And we don't really have face, but we can send it anyways. And let's put a skeleton, let's say Rococo Newton default. And FBS, let's say, 24 frames per second because that's usually how animation is done. Let's choose a location to export All right now that we picked our location, let's export It should have shown up here. There we go. That's our take All right, so let's head on to blender and before we import this and the rig to uh, Into blender. We're going to set up the Rococo plugin for blender. All right, let's go to edit preferences uh, come here to 
add-ons and we're going to install an add-on. So I'm going to go ahead and find it where, find where it is. Rococo Studio Live Blender Master. It's a zip file which I downloaded. I'll have these linked down below for you guys. Install. And here it is. So I'm going to check mark this just so it applies. Now that I applied, save preferences. I'm going to close this. Now here I'm going to press N to open this up and it should be right there. So here is where you can put your Rococo login and email. So make sure you do that. All right, now that we have the plugin installed, I'm going to hide this, hide this. What we want is a retargeting. And what we're going to do is we're going to import our animation and we're going to import the rig we downloaded from Mixamo. Okay, so FBX, first things first. I'm a realist. Um, uh, videos, Rococo. Here's our character. So import FBX, great. Now we have our character. Next, we're going to bring the animation in. And so we're going to go to import again, FBX. And here is the motion capture that we recorded. And so let's move that to the side. Let's play it. All right, looks cool. So let's go back to the start. All right. so. Here is what we need to do to make these guys do the same thing. So first of all, you want to make sure that um, both your character and your armature, sorry, both your character um, and your motion capture are in T pose. And so next up, I am going to click this little source. The source is going to be our animation. So in this case, it's going to be the root. So that's the root. That's going to be our source. The target is going to be the armature of this character. So I'm going to click on this little eyedrop, bring it to armature. There we go. Now we have our target and source set. So we can click build bone list. And here you might notice some, uh, some stuff missing. Uh, you can fix this and then you can save this. So you never have to do it again. So how you fix that is, you know, if like spine two is missing, you type in spine and try and find wherever spine two might be. Um, in, in this case, the rig and the motion capture are a little bit different since there's four spines on this one and only three on the other one. So I think this would work fine. So you just go ahead and fill out whatever you think needs filling out. Then we're going to uh, scroll down and make sure we have current selected. And I'm not sure why there's another key over here. I'm going to delete that down here. So we just have the one key on frame one. We have current selected and now we're going to click retarget animation. I'm going to wait a little bit. Oh, oh, we're not waiting anymore. I thought we were waiting. Okay. So this is what we have. So we have the character. Okay. You know what? This is hard to see. So at this point, the animation is baked on your character. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the root, our initial mocap. All right, so we're going to go ahead and hide the armature so we don't see the armature anymore. Press play. And yeah, and that, that's the video. <laughs> if you guys uh, are interested in Rococo in the motion capture suit, I'm going to be showing a discount code on the screen right now because as I'm recording, I don't have the code. So whatever you see on the screen right now is valid for I think about a week, maybe two, but I'm pretty sure it's just a week after the upload of the video. So make sure you, if you are interested, you use this code, you get 10% off of the original price of the suit. So that's about 200 and something dollars, 250 US dollars. And your boy also gets a small commission from that as well. So it's a, it's a win-win. Again, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button, hit the sub button, stay notified of future videos. And with all of that out of the way, happy animating, and I will see you guys in the next video.